Good evening, my name is Cynthia Lucia. I'm a president of Pasco Gandas on Old Wall and Lake Road. So I provided a document um, or a series of documents when I came in and um, I'm not going to reiterate what other people have already said, but it really is not um, about this power plant, but it's about the power plant that's proposed for the Killingly site. And um, my purpose in doing that is uh, sort of piggybacking on what the first speaker tonight spoke of. And I think it's important when the Department of Health does an advisory opinion or makes recommendations one way or another, that they look at, it can't be looked at in a vacuum. I think we have to look really a little further out, especially in a state Rhode, like Rhode Island where, especially in a town like Barville, where we have Massachusetts just a couple of miles on one side and Connecticut just a couple of miles to the other side. So I think we have to look at, when we look at its impact or the impact that this might have on our community, I think we have to look at it as more of a regional um, impact to our community. And I think it's important that um, when the Department of Health looks at um, this application and drafts an opinion, that they look at the combined um, impact that, that these power plants will have because it's not just the two that we have already, it's going to be the third one plus what's coming over to us um, from just over the state line. So I would ask that if you haven't done that already that you consider um, looking at those impacts and uh, revise your opinion. My concern in also, I think, is, is looking at uh, what we know as town residents and people who have been involved in this process is the inconsistencies from one document that this company has provided um, at one time and then when it gets questioned, um, it changes. And when, you know, like we talked about initially, the height of the stacks were going to be, I believe, 220 feet. And when there's questions raised about that, well, now they're going to be 200 feet. Um, there was questions raised about the concentration of ammonia. Originally, it was going to be 20%. And when um, people talked about uh, compliance with EPA standards suddenly, and uh, it became 19%, so that they didn't have to be in compliance with um, EPA standards. Um, another issue is related to the amount of water usage. We've heard that it's going to be one amount, and yet when I requested a copy of the uh, letter of intent with the Pasco Utility District, Invenergy insisted that the amount of water that was going to be utilized was redacted. So that what is the real number? Do we know what the real number of gallons per minute or per gallons per day at peak is compared to any other time. My point in mentioning this is that this company has lied to us repeatedly. If you don't like the answer, just wait a couple of days and they'll give you another one. And so it's hard for me, and I know it's, it's, it's hard for you, um, to write an advisory opinion. When, when we look at it, we don't know what information you've really been given, if it's, if it's true or not true. And if, you know, if you have questions about it, don't worry, they'll change, they'll change it to whatever you want it to be. These, these people are more like chameleons than anything we've ever seen before. So I guess you know, that's my concern, is how to, even if you draft the opinion um, and, and you submit an opinion, what's it based on? Because we really don't know. So, um, let me see, Whoops. I didn't want to repeat what other people had said. I guess, I, I guess my last point is, and you probably, you know, dread having yet another nurse stand before you tonight, but my last 18 years of my career, I worked for the state, by the way, um, at the Eleanor Slater Hospital Zamborano unit. The last 18 years of my career was, in, was as the infection control nurse. At least that was the title of the job when I took it. Um, shortly afterwards, the infection control nurse population decided that what they really do is not control infection, but our role was to prevent infection. And so I think, you know, when I, when I looked to the health department for guidance on issues or when I had to call them for, uh, to make reference, you know, make referrals or to report uh, conditions or, or concerns that I had, um, I looked for them because they were 
for all intents, they were our experts in the state. And I think, you know, their role was always, and I think I sort of took away from that, what my job was, was to prevent things from happening. That's what my job was, it was an infection control nurse at the hospital, was to take a look at a situation and to prevent the worst thing from happening. And so what I'm asking for you to do is take your report back look at it from that point of view and look at it from preventing the worst thing from happening. And I think if you look at it from that point of view and, and, and your role in our state and what we, we look to you for is to prevent these things from happening and um, we're counting on you. I, I hope you won't let us down. Thank you.